Hello, hello my crochet friends, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube creative studio. For today I prepared a new video tutorial how to crochet this really cute and super easy bag. It's made with uh, 13 squares and with uh, two colors. I chose two red colors, one is light and one is dark and uh, I combine them to have the back a bit darker on one side with the lighter square in the middle and the opposite side is uh, lighter and I chose these uh, already prepared uh, handles with uh, wooden beads. I really love them. They are so cute. This uh, bag is uh, absolutely perfect for beginners. One square has only four rounds and if you will have 13 squares you just sew them together. I will show you uh, how to do it and you will have a beautiful summer bag. The pattern notes are available in the description box right below this video tutorial. The written pattern is for free on my blog. And if you will have any questions, you can reach me also on my Facebook page, Pinterest and Instagram. So guys, let's get started. Uh, I used yarn Ayas Lace. Uh, one ball is uh, 220 grams and it has uh, 125 meters. I used up one uh, light red ball and one and a half uh, this dark red ball. Of course, you can use any uh, color you like. I used a uh, crochet hook 5 millimeters. You will also need uh, some scissors and a uh, tapestry needle. We will work in closed rounds and I will start with a magic ring. I do a magic ring really simply, just cross the yarn and uh, Insert the hook in the loop, grab the yarn and make a chain. I don't count chain at, as, at the beginning as a stitch. Then make 12 single crochet stitches into the magic ring. And uh, I will work in a closed round. So I will close the round with a slip stitch. So now let's make... 12 single crochet stitches work into the magic ring and don't tie the stitches too much once you have 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 insert the hook in the first single crochet you made at the beginning and let's make a slip stitch. You can tight the end as much as you can to close the hole in the middle. Perfect. Let's start round number two. Chain one and now work one single crochet in each single crochet around. So there is no increase. Just work one single crochet in each stitch in the first round. So this is this is easy and you will finish the round with 12 single crochet stitches. And once you reach the first stitch, close the round with a slip stitch. So I have a 12 stitches. Now let's make a slip stitch and work in the first single crochet. Now chain two 
and yarn over inside the hook in the first stitch and let's make a cluster of four double crochet stitches chain two at the beginning is my first double crochet so don't finish double crochet yarn over insert the hook in the same stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull yarn through two loops now we, you have four loops on the hook yarn over and pull yarn through all loops on your hook then chain three one two three and let's make a cluster four double crochets in the next single crochet okay so cluster of four double crochet stitches so don't finish double crochet this is the first one pull yarn through two so this is the second one the third one we have four loops and the fourth double crochet pull yarn through two we have five loops on the hook this is it then yarn over and pull yarn through all loops on your hook and chain three one two and three and this is also quite easy you will make a four double crochet cluster in each stitch so we have 12 single crochet stitches so you will make 12 four double crochet clusters and chain three between them so this is the third one and the fourth now yarn over and pull yarn through all five loops on your hook and then chain three one two three this is it so let's make four double crochet cluster in each stitch around i'm at the end so let me finish the last cluster the third one and the last double crochet in the last stitch yarn over and pull yarn through all five loops on the hook and chain three and then close the round make a slip stitch on the top of the first cluster this is it so we just finished round number three and let's start the last round now we have 12 chain 3 spaces between the clusters and I will work in these chain 3 spaces. Start the round with chain 3 which is my first double crochet and then make 2 double crochet stitches in a chain three space so one two and we have three double crochet stitches at the beginning now then chain three one two three and let's work 
three more double crochet stitches in the same chain three space one two double crochets and three and this is my corner which consists of three double crochets chain three and three double crochets now work three half double crochet stitches in next two chain spaces so first half double crochet the second one and the third half double crochet in one space and now let's make three half double crochet stitches in next chain three space so the first half double crochet the second half double crochet and the third half double crochet this is it and now it's the time to make the corner again so easily speaking I will make the corner in every third stitch okay so there are four corners and on side we have two chain three spaces and I made three half double crochets into them so now let's make a corner so three double crochet stitches in chain three space one two and three then chain three one two three and now three double crochets in the same chain three space one two and three this is the corner and now let's make three half double crochet stitches in next two spaces so this is the first half double crochet the second and the third this is it and in the next chain space make three half double crochet stitches again one two three and it's time to make the corner so work three double crochets chain three and three double crochets in next chain space then the side then the corner and then the side okay i will meet you at the end of the round i think it's super easy here I am and I will show you how to close the round with an invisible join. You can cut the yarn or you can make a slip stitch. It's uh, fully up to you. I will show you how I love to close invisibly the round. So pull the yarn. I will use the needle of course you can use the crochet hook and uh, insert the needle we started with chain three so in the third chain like this and pull yarn through this third chain and then insert the needle in the 
last stitch you created on the top actually in the V on the top of the stitch and then hide the end on the on the uh, back side and this is it this is my square it's super easy just four rounds let me measure it it measures 12 centimeters which is 4.7 inch and uh, diagonally it measures 17 centimeters which is 6.6 6, uh, inches so this is it there are only two rounds and super easy so make 12 uh, single crochets into the magic ring and then 12 clusters and then let's create four corners and the sides you will make a beautiful square it's so uh, amazing isn't it so how many squares you will need for the back i made one two three four five and six seven seven uh, squares dark right and uh, one two three four five and six squares red this is it and i will show you how to make the back if you have only um, eight squares you can make the back like this it's cute smaller back perfect so eight squares and that's it if you will have 10 squares you can uh, make um, back a bit bigger so place three squares in the first line and two in the second line and four uh, the squares on sides like this so it's back made with ten squares okay now let me show you how to make the back also with 10 squares but uh, join them diagonally okay so one two three four five six seven eight so i fold the squares on sides of course you can change the colors and also fold the squares on the bottom this is it so if you would like to have a square with 10 uh, a pack with 10 squares you can join them like this okay and now let me show you how i sew the squares I used 13 and I put 5 red squares on one side like this then I fold darker squares on side and darker square on the bottom and I need five more squares 
so one two three four five and I put the red square in the middle so this is it this is the shape I chose for my back and this is how I place the squares so guys which shape is your favorite one <laughs> with the 13 squares or with 10 or just simple with eight squares please let me know you can put the comment right uh, below this video tutorial and now I will uh, show you how to sew the squares again it's super easy of course you can um, crochet uh, and uh, make slip stitches if you want it's fully up to you I decided to sew squares and we have the same number of stitches on each side so it will be really easy start in the corner there are three chains so insert the needle in the middle chain okay so pull yarn through the middle chain on one square and also on the second square this is it and then join the first chain on one side and also on the second square this is it and as you can see I work in outer stitches okay so work like this insert the needle into the wheeze not under the wheeze but in to them in outer outer loops So guys, it's easy. You can sew stitch to stitch till you reach the next corner. Just make sure you work in each chain and in each stitch, of course. <laughs> so let's continue sewing and I will meet you once I sew all squares together here I am <laughs> guys this is it I sew all 13 squares and I'm finishing the last two on the side and this is it I really love this bag it's it's so cute it's I think it's super super easy and perfect for summer so now let me sew the corners and yeah we are done this is the middle chain and this is also the middle chain so just secure them and we are done <laughs> so as you can see I put uh, one red uh, in the middle and there are five red squares on the opposite side and I think the back is quite uh, cheerful now <laughs> and now I will make a border around the top of my back and it will be a row with single crochet stitches I will start 
in this corner in the seam and it will be again it will be really easy I will use only single crochet stitches so pull the loop through the stitch in the corner and then work a single crochet in each stitch okay so one single crochet in each stitch I will show you how to make the corner of course and you can hide the end like this just working single crochet around the end so put the end on the top of uh, double crochet stitches and then make a single crochet so this is also a really easy way how to hide the end okay so now work a single crochet in each stitch and I will show you how to make the corner because you know there are three chains so we have to work in this chain three space and I will make three single crochet stitches work around the chain not into the chains okay so just in to the space and make three single crochets and then keep continue crocheting and make one single crochet in each stitch okay yeah and I will show you how to make the middle or the, the corner in the middle so work one single crochet in chain space then one single crochet in to the seam in the middle and then one single crochet in next chain space this is it and then keep continue crocheting and make one single crochet in each stitch once you reach in uh, the chain three space make three single crochets in this chain three space here I am I'm at the end and I will keep continue crocheting so don't close the round with a slip stitch and just make a slip stitch in each stitch okay so one slip stitch in each stitch and once you reach the corner I will show you how to crochet and how to easily join the handle with the back So we have three single crochets on the top. Now let me prepare the handle and uh, the rings. Okay. And now inside the hook in the first single crochet, place the yarn on the ring. Inside the hook from back to front into the ring and grab the yarn pull yarn through the ring and through the single crochet and now let's finish a single crochet so yarn over and pull yarn through two loops on your hook and this is it and repeat it insert the hook in the second single crochet put the yarn on the ring 
insert the hook from back to front into the ring, grab the yarn, pull yarn through the ring and through the stitch and let's finish single crochet and repeat it one more time so make a single crochet and join the ring making the single crochet and this is it you can keep continue crocheting one slip stitch into each stitch till you reach and the second uh, corner and the top on the back and I will join the ring there it's uh, perfectly joined using this method so insert the hook in the single crochet into the ring grab the yarn and pull yarn through the ring and through the single crochet and finish a single crochet so yarn over and pull yarn through two loops on your hook and let's repeat it two more times <laughs> and one more single crochet and this is it <laughs> so you already know how to join the handle and you can keep continue crocheting slip stitches and uh, join the handle on the opposite side as well so of course you need two handles <laughs> for a back <laughs> and I'm at the end last slip stitch you can join the round with a slip stitch or use the invisible join which uh, I already showed you so I will use the needle and let's pull the yarn under the first slip stitch and then into the V of the last slip stitch you created and then you can hide the end into the wrong side and this is it it's really nice and invisible join I love it I love it and this is it <laughs> my back is finished it's so cute I love the flowers on the back and I also love the combination of red and dark red squares so my back measures 32 centimeters which is the width and it's uh, 12.5 centimeters and also uh, the length is uh, 32 centimeters 12.5 inch and the length in the middle is uh, 24 centimeters 9.3 inch and uh, this side measures 12 centimeters which is 4.7 inch and 
now measure the length of the bag with the handle and it's a uh, 50 50 centimeters which is uh, 19.5 inch and the width between the handles is 19 centimeters uh, 7.4 inch so this is it my crochet friends you already know how to create this beautiful cute summer bag i i love the colors and uh, i yeah <laughs> i love how the red color corresponds with the handles yeah so guys i used the uh, upper uh, the one uh, red uh, ball so this is the rest of one ball and I used one and uh, let's say one and third ball of the dark uh, red ball so this is the rest of the second dark red ball so guys this is the end of my video tutorial thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial if you will have any questions please don't hesitate to contact me you can put the comment right below this video tutorial if you like it please give me your thumb up and don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel guys wish you happy crocheting take care and bye for now bye bye